Good evening, Thief River Falls. It's 7.02 on this Tuesday, November 16th, 2010. And welcome back. It's the Tuesday night experiment. We were off for a week due to some uh, technical troubles here at the station, but we're back on the air and back once again to entertain you for two hours. We got a big jam-packed show today. I got a couple of guests. In the uh, first hour here, in the 7 o'clock hour, I got an author by the name of Peter Richmond. And we're going to talk old school NFL football, Oakland Raiders football, his latest book, Badasses, The Legend of Snake, Foo, Dr. Death, and John Madden's Oakland Raiders. Second hour, we got a filmmaker, a documentarian, if you will, named John Scheinfeld. He directed a great documentary on Harry Nielsen. But before we get there, we got to start the, the Gab Fest. It is the experiment. And let's introduce, uh, well, my panel is back. They're both here, live and aware on this Tuesday. Blind Dog, what's happening? Yo. How about this uh, music? This is some uh, Fierce Licks. Yeah, it's like I'm in TV land again. Well, yes, indeed. It's uh, Love Unlimited Orchestra. I think that was the one Barry White was associated with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you definitely could tell they're in cahoots with uh, the Love Meister. Back again. Uh, well, Sugar Sean Slauson is back in the house. <laughs> Sugar Sean. Sugar Sean Slauson. Hey, I'm back. And uh, after a week of uh, break, uh, after our first episode, I thought we were canceled. What did I tell you? Well, <laughs> you know, Sean, he was so concerned last week that he, he had to tell me that there was uh, a problem at the station. Like, I don't know that there's already a problem here. I had no idea. Forget I didn't know what the heck was going on. Forget this music. We're going to give you a real music here. It was Panic in Minnesota here. And it was Panic on the dance floor. <laughs> Sean, Sugar Sean Slauson. <laughs> I heard uh, you've been out on the town clubbing. Oh, clubbing, you know, making videos, doing my YouTube thing. Making videos. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice, good videos. Original videos. Yeah. Absolutely, Sugar Sean. Making th- doing some stuff as we had the week off. Uh, you got yourself a, a little DVD review here, a little new release sort of thing going on this week? Yeah, you know, for anybody who's wondering what the heck's going on. Or fell know. asleep to it the last yeah, time you did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we shortened it up a little bit, and uh, I think you'll like what I what, what's coming out what, tonight. That thing didn't even properly end. I think uh, Blind Dog got into a little conversation yeah. with me, and it just kind of... <laughs> I wasn't yeah. able to say, uh, tell uh, the rest of the stuff that was going on. drifting off there a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, that usually... Uh, we start talking to keep ourselves uh, awake. We didn't have any coffee or any caffeine last week. And then after the the, re, uh, the DVD release thing, then it's uh, time for some picks. Classic pick, current pick. I think you guys will like what I have in store for you. Got some picks for us, huh? Oh, yeah. Awesome. As long as I can rent them at the library. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you probably could. You probably could. Well, look at this. It's, i got to pay my late fees first. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you you want to go and uh, be a uh, front guy, Sean? Hey, I, you can use my card. I got Should one. Should do the library pick of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in a librarian. Why not? You know. Well, you know, I think we already do that in the morning. Uh, at least I don't know. We used to do that, but we were doing the morning show. I think Ben still does that. But we could have a library video DVD review courtesy oh, yeah. of Sugar Sean Sloss and Triple S, if you will. We'll go to a uh, hidden library or whatever in Minnesota, a random library. We'll just pick out whatever they got. So, Sean, you've been up to uh, the same old hijinks uh, while we were away? Yeah, just uh, been chilling. You know, that's about it. Working at Hugo's. There's a plug for you. Yeah. Blind Dog, <laughs> I don't even want to know what you've been doing. <laughs> yeah, I've just been holding down the fort, I guess. Yeah, well... Been, uh, I- Jamming out to some music here and there. Yeah. Well, yeah, like like the stuff that Sugar Sean dances to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Close. this stuff, man. I love this. He's like, if it ain't Leif Garrett, it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't Buddy Holly, it's crap, right? There. Buddy oh, Holly, yeah. Leif Garrett, yeah, same was, thing. Yeah, whatever. One <laughs> died, one's career died <laughs> terribly. <laughs> Six minutes after 7 o'clock. Uh, yeah, I did some things. I, I actually had a pretty busy last few weekends. Which is crazy. Right I mean, on. Well, you know, once the winter comes, I really don't want to go anywhere. So yeah. I'm just like, uh-huh. okay, let's get this out of the way. Uh, it was two weekends ago coming up here. Oh, it'd be two weeks uh, this coming weekend. Uh, we went down. Uh, the girlfriend had a birthday, so we decided to do a big birthday weekend. We uh, did two days down in uh, Minneapolis. Nice. Friday night, like, I, we got off work at around noonish. We hit the road. We got there just in time. They had the St. Paul to check out the Minnesota Wild. Cool. That's my first, like, I've never been to any pro sporting events until this year. So right I did the on. pro baseball thing, and I did the pro basketball thing this spring and summer. So I went to my first pro hockey game, and they were playing the Calgary Flames, and it was close. I was uh, like, oh, yeah. so I was getting there. I'm like, oh, man, this better not be some blowout junk. 
<laughs> I don't want to be paying uh, top dollar here for nothing. Good seats, uh, fun atmosphere. Definitely going to check that out. Uh, Sunday, we, uh, we, we we caught the Vikings uh, play. Nice. Uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, what do they call them? Some Arizona Cardinals? I was going to say Phoenix, but that's so uh, late 1980s. <laughs> uh, Arizona Cardinals. Uh, that was a great game. That was probably the best game the Vikings had all year in, in terms of excitement. They, they, they came back from 14. They brought it into overtime. Longwell. Oh, money. yeah, I watched that game. Yeah, 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 that was one of their three that they actually won. <laughs> But yeah, that was that was fun. That was that was a good weekend. Uh, we had a great little birthday thing on Saturday. Uh, we did the the weekend after this past weekend. We headed over to Walker, Minnesota, Saturday night, to the nor- to the Northern Lights Casino. Got a nice little room booked. It was it was quality. When I go, I go all out. Uh, me and a few friends and the girlfriend went and saw Tracy uh, Morgan live in concert, doing his comedy oh, yeah. thing. Now that man, that man's money. <laughs> that, I mean, and the whole thing was this is the funny part of it all. It was. We got there, you know, we went down to the casino. Girlfriend had to go, for whatever reason, you know, women, they got yep. things, things they got to do that we don't, and we don't understand them and never will. Uh, so she had to go up to the room. We came back out. We, or we're walking up, and we noticed some security up by our rooms. And we're like, well, what's, oh. going, on? what's going on here, you know? Somebody get in trouble and stuff? And then we came back out, went in the room, came back out. As we were walking out, Tracy Morgan came out of his room that was right next to us. So I saw Tracy wow. Morgan walking into the towards the elevator. There's some security there. We were coming behind because we were going down to the show. Yeah, <laughs> he just got in because the weather was so bad that he got in just near, like an hour before he was supposed to go on. So he's walking in. We see him, and then you know the security sees us, and we're just like, okay, it's cool, man. We're not gonna you know yell. Yeah, we're not gonna out. ambush him. No, no, <laughs> no. no we want to see this guy kill. You know, we paid money to go see this man. And, you know, yep. why, why ruin that? So uh, he, we were waiting for our elevator, and he's with his entourage. Uh, it was like a, his buddy and a couple of ladies. But he was like, you going to the show tonight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. And I'm like, yeah, Tracy, I'm going to go to the show tonight. Knock him dead. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he gave me the fist back. Was he kind of snooty at all? Or? No, there was no pretension. That was the thing that was so wonderful about it. That cool. This guy was like, you know, we're treating him with respect. And yep. he thus treated us. It was kind of a mutual thing. Yeah, we got to the show. We were sitting front row center. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if, yeah, if, if any place in that whole building was a target it would be in that row okay yeah get in there get ready a little heckling hey, I, it's tracy morgan it's not like he's ever going to come back uh, like, so I, I didn't i didn't heckle I, I was wanting to see this guy i love him on 30 rock love his whole thing like my buddy and his girlfriend were there too like me and my lady were we're all sitting in there you know and then tracy comes on they had this big chair like a, they, they had in the lobby up there in a glue bottle of water <laughs> he's like what am i bill cosby <laughs> <laughs> like, no. So everything's going well, and the people next to us finally show up during the opening of his show, and he just, they were targets from that moment on. Cool. And then later on, the woman said something to him, got her his attention. I think they, he was talking about some sort of scenario or whatever, and she pointed at me about something. I think it was like, oh, is that your first boyfriend? Anybody here have their first, don't go out with their first boyfriend or whatever, pointed at me because I dated her a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we were targets. <laughs> yeah, he gave he he, he, gave, he gave, but it was fun. It was good rimming. And at the end, he called me up to shake his hand. He's like, I want to shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and then he I'm shaking his hand. The dirty bugger starts smelling my fingers. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, yeah, that was the kind of show we were at. I'm not even gonna go any further on that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty straightforward, right there. Man. Yeah, jeez, you know. And but it, it was fun, and I, mean, I really enjoyed it. Tracy Morgan is probably one of the funniest guys, and to see him live. It was, he was live in Walker, Minnesota, on the night his HBO comedy special debuted. He also <laughs> had one, uh, he made an appearance on a PBS special, too. Oh, the uh, Mark Twain Awards thing with That uh, uh, was just this last weekend, I Yeah, think. The, the Honor Tina Fey. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And you notice how they cut up her uh, speech? They, they've been playing the uh, unedited version of it uh, on uh, I, there's some website you can find, it, probably YouTube. But yeah. Tracy Morgan, he was he flew in late because the night before or the afternoon before he taped Jimmy Fallon. He was uh, <laughs> he, all, he was always on every talk show. He was on Howard Stern. Whenever he comes on Stern, he's absolutely electrified. I mean that guy is just without the filter. It's, Off the hook. Oh, absolutely. I think he was on every talk show imaginable this week. Come watch my show in Walker. No, he was actually <laughs> supporting his HBO show. You notice how celebs.